often we acquire element map data over large areas and in those cases it's necessary to montage individual maps into one larger x-ray spectral image. So to do that we need to be in the map portion of the software. Uh, the, we, we passed the acquire map data stage, we did that on the data acquisition computer and now we're ready to process. So if we go to construct maps we can see that we have multiple sites. If I click on a different one, you can see that they contain different X-ray map data. So what we need to do is to combine all of these individual sites into one X-ray spectral image, or one element map. So to do that, we need to press montage. And we can see magnesium here. Let's move to Iron. So we can see these different fields with the distribution of iron within them. The actual data looks pretty good in that the, the fields are all aligned correctly. If there are issues with alignment, you can use the move and select option and you can pick up and shift some of the data around. to get a better fit. It's, if you're doing that, it's usually worth shifting three adjacent fields. Like so. And if you press control and select the three fields that you worked on, right click, guided align, We'll then shift all of the other fields to try and fit these ones that we've already perfected. So when we've got everything aligned nicely, we can then press montage. And a new data file is produced, montage data 5. If we click on montage data 5, in the montage part of the software, we can now no longer see any data. What we need to do is go back to construct maps. And then we can see the whole area montaged with different element maps to select from. And if we maximize the montage data in the data tree, we can see that we have a whole list of elements that we can then click on to actually just see the distribution of those individual elements.